Yo, what's good YouTubers? This is your boy LB. So now today in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this effect. Guys, before I edit this levitation effect, I shoot two different videos but on the same place. The first video is the subject which is on green screen background. Set up your green screen background where the subject will be performed. And because my subject it will look like something which is frying. So now you have to put the something on the feet to let it to be stunned. This is my little sister. Is the one who is gonna to perform. She's the best actor. Guys, she act in many different video that I make. Please go to check on my YouTube channel, then check the video which she act on. So, this time for shooting. Your subject will be act like someone who is flying. After that, you have to shoot background only. You have to remove all stuff. Guys, if you have gimbal, you can just use a gimbal or lie. Just for me, I use my own trick because I don't have gimbal. So when you're done for shooting, all stuff, now it's time for editing. So now let's jump on in Adobe After Effects. So guys, I'm going to import my background video clip here in Adobe After Effects. So now move down here on this timeline. Okay, first I'm going to track this background footage right click on it and then track stabilize motion tracking so now guys as you see here i have one track point because i just want another track point for scale this track point is for position so now i'm going to add other one track point for scale so now open this scale so now i'm going to find the best tracking point on this footage this one let me put it here on this rock the another one let me find this this black one so now after this so now analyze here forward guys you have to make sure this line it was in the beginning of your clip you have to wait a little bit Yes, it's done. So now, after tracking your background clip, so now I'm going to create the new object. Just go here on layer, click on it, new, new object, okay? So now, after this, click here on new object, then click here on edit target. Just as you see here, I got the new one. So now click OK. After this, apply here, X and Y, click OK. So now after this guys I'm going to import my green screen videos just open up just import your green screen videos so now let me also drag it here on this timeline between null and this background video just click here on your video green screen video just go here on effect and then search effect called key light 1.2 so now move into your video clip so now as you see here this is key light settings so now choose here the green color so now after this click here on the view and then click here on screen on screen mat so now open up these screen mat settings okay so now let me balance my green screen. So here let me put it 62, for example. Then here let me put it 64. Guys, you have to balance well until your green 
it becomes black and then your subject becomes white the reason why here on my subject have some black cause there is on my subject there is some green color is that reason why i'm still having the black color but this is fine so now back here on view then click here on final result yeah this is cool so now i'm going to mask by using this pen to this subject okay yes this is better so now come here on your clip then press s on your keyboard to scale just like this okay this is fine and then after this i'm going to to combine with this null object so now by clicking here on this parent pick whip then you have to put it here on null one so when i pray so when i play my video okay this is cool so but i just want to this subject it will comes like a ghost okay so the next one i'm going to add some position this position is gonna helping me to move my subject from down to up so now place p this is position and then i'm going to add some keyframe here on the beginning of this clip then move just like here and then let me pull up my subject okay so let me pray let me show is it okay this is cool when it's going slow just you can move forward this keyframe just like this okay so when i play yeah this is cool okay so now guys i'm going to add some glitch effect okay Let's click here on it first i'm going to create an adjustment layer and then click here on new click on adjustment layer okay so put it this adjustment layer here on the top of this layer okay so now go here on effect such the effect called v-ray digital glitch so drag here on this adjustment layer so this is glitch settings so now choose on this frame layout choose monoscopic into stereoscopic over under so now come here on destruction let me put it here like 100 this geometry destruction let me add like 90 let me jump this okay let me back here on let me add like 57 here and then here too let me add 47 this is cool so now open up this adjustment layer just in turn effect and then this is V-Ray digital glitch and then open up i'm going to use this master amplitude for adding some keyframe on the beginning i have to add the keyframe by which my amplitude is on zero so let me extend this timeline so when i jump like two frame okay i will add 100 okay so let me jump like a few frame then let me add add another keyframe then when i jump one then i will move my glitch so now let me pray let me show is it okay this is to okay this is cool but let me add another one where my subject it will comes just like here so let me add another frame let me jump one frame and then let me bring my glitch so now let me jump like four frame here okay another add another one jump another one then 
remove my frame so now let me pray and let me see how my frame sorry how my effect is okay that is some shoe frames okay let me remove it okay okay but this glitch is not cool guys so now i'm going to add some another effect by duplicating these background footage so now click ctrl press d just come back here on the beginning of your clip so now i'm going to add some position frames it will help my grid to to have some meaning okay this is where my how my grid is okay so now click on this duplicated background so now click on p add the keyframe here and then jump one frame let me move one frame just like this and then jump another one bring this clip here let me jump another one just playing this frame like this okay when i play let me see yeah this is how is it okay how it's going on yeah this is cool so now let me duplicate again for put I'm going to put where my subject it will starting on control press this duplicate okay extend where the subject is starting on okay so now for this i have to put above of my subject okay so now let me add some position to here on my effect where and then you have to find where the glitch effect is starting on and this is where it is ending so now i'm going to add some position frames and then press p mm -hmm. jump one frame then move these here on down then let me jump another one then let me pull up here move the last one then let me pull here on left okay so when i pray this is how my effect is okay even here on the middle you can just add another glitch for example just open up this adjustment layer or you you can just add another frame for this mass amplitude glitch okay so when i pray you see how it is guys this is how you can make this levitation effect if you have any question please drop it in the comment down below uh, before you leave this video please don't forget to subscribe like share yeah and drop that comment so see you in next video as always Stay creative. Peace.